Hey everyone, this is the official tutorial for my Garry's Mod Realism Collection. This video will include how to set up the game, as well as set up reshade to get your game to look exactly like mine. Let's get into it. First, scroll down on the collection and click subscribe to all, as if you would do with any collection. Then, wait for the mod to download. Now remember, this will not work on pirated versions of Garry's Mod, and you also cannot install the mods while the game is open. So, if your game is open, close your game, and if you have a pirated version of Garry's Mod, this sadly will not work for you. I'm sorry. Once the mods are done installing, go to the Google Drive the link I have in the description to download my autoconfig file. This file automatically inputs console commands into your game when you start it up. This contains everything from keybinds and certain mod configs that are put into your console that you otherwise would have to do manually. Keep in mind that you may not like some of the configs this file has, so use at your own risk. I have more minimal and realistic settings. After downloading, find the file and copy-paste it into your Garry's Mod CFG folder that's on screen now. Since this file changes a lot of the controls in the game, I will list all the controls in the description below so you guys don't have to worry about not knowing how to do what. The next step is to configure the in-game spawn menu. First, open up Life Mod menu. Go to the lighting settings and enable first person shadow. This adds a little extra immersion to the game as you can see your shadow at your feet. Next you configure the Modern Warfare base settings also under options. I run all HUD elements off for immersion. I also use all the FX options for an extra hint of realism on the base. I use an FOV of 1.37 and the VMOD doesn't really matter, that's just personal taste. A lot of people forget to configure their sharp eye settings and in turn get view model bugs. First make sure it's enabled. Next open the menu to the left of the screen and turn on focus mode and disable bobbing entirely. Next on focus options set view model visual to 16 and camera visual from 4 to 8 depending on your personal preference. Next, under Utilities, TFA-based web settings are the TFA view model settings. I use a view bob of 0.45, gun bob of negative 0.70, offset x 0.28, offset y 3, offset z 0.10, and an FOV of 5. The last step is the player speed settings under Utilities once again. I use a walking speed of 115, run speed of 205, and jump power of 150. Under miscellaneous, I have the ducking and unducking speed at 0.35, which for those who are wondering, is your crouch speed. The b-hop policy is at 0, and the stopping power is set to 2. I'm sure everyone is wondering how I got my game to look like this. The answer is Reshade. Reshade is a post-processing injector to enhance visual quality in games. In this section of the video, I will go over how to install my Reshade preset to make your game look more like mine. First, open the Reshade installation link in the description and install it. After it's done installing, find the file and open it. Run the reshade setup.exe. If it asks you to extract anything, just click run. Select click here to manage your game and its installation. Then you're gonna have to find Gary's Mod in the list of games. It's usually named hl2.exe and it has the Gary's Mod logo beside it. Select Direct3D9 when it asks what API you use. Then select all the effects packs that it has and then click OK. As you click OK through all the effects list from the packs, make sure they're all selected as it does not select all of them on its own.
After that, it should say something like Reshade Step was successful. If so, it is now installed on your game. Then, copy paste the two .ini files that you installed from the folder to the Gary's Mod bin folder. Next, you launch Gary's Mod. By default, the home button above the arrow keys is what opens up the reshape menu. Press that, and then the reshape menu will open. If you installed it correctly, that is. Click the drop down menu towards the top of the reshade and then select your preset that you want to use. Once the preset is selected, it should turn on and everything should be working. After that, click on D3D9 and then click on enable copy depth buffer. Copy depth buffer allows effects like MXAO, SSR, and RTGI to function in game. Last but not least, you need to go into your graphic settings in game and disable anti aliasing as this prevents some effects and reshade from functioning. That's it, everyone. Hope it helped out. If you still have any questions, leave a comment. Thank you so much for all the support recently, too.